Trevor from hvlabs.com and here we have a Tesla turbine. The turbine is constructed from an old server hard disk as you can see it's relatively large. The Perspex cover has been added as is a circular cover shield to direct the airflow around the disks. Two stubs you either rotate it counterclockwise or clockwise, depending on whichever input you feed the air supply. The disc has a total of eight platters with six large holes around the radius and six small holes. The original three-phase motor, brushless motor, that has been kept from the hard disk so as to give an indication of power and speed. A three-phase bridge rectifier has been added to the outputs from the motor and just a small capacitor across it just to smooth it. We have a 5 watt 12 volt automotive lamp across the load and a DC voltmeter just to monitor the supply. So that's the setup. I'm now going to show you our air supply that we're going to use. It's a standard two horsepower compressor. We're going to set the gauge to about 50 psi. The tank is full at the moment so I'm going to switch the compressor off and run it from the reserve 24 litre tank. On with our setup. Now we're going to feed in air spinning the device clockwise. See, we've got about 9 volts with a load. This is the standard hard disk motor, it has not been altered in any way. The turbine spins down relatively quickly due to a load because you're creating back EMF. I'm now going to spin it counterclockwise to demonstrate that it will run either way and power will be produced. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the bench light off just so you can see the bulb a little bit more clearly. Okay, I'm now going to remove the bridge rectifier and connect the voltmeter directly across one of the Delta Star winds. So this is no load. So there's, your, there's the single coil, second coil, third coil. I'm now going to feed in same 50 psi into the counterclockwise. See what our maximum speed is in AC mode.
13 and a half volts uh, with a frequency of about 600 hertz. That's across one coil. So we have to divide by 3 and then times by 60 to get the RPM. Okay, a simple lead load has been connected across the bridge rectifier. Interesting to note, you can also do air brakes, so you can quickly stop the device. As usual, all plans and specifications are presented on my website at www.hvlabs.com.